Welcome back to the Fish Tank, everybody. My name is Squidhead Joe. What I wanted to go ahead and talk about today is this audio mixer from Fine Fine. Now, I did purchase this uh, with two other products however, from Fine Fine with my own money, um, but they have sent out products for me to review in the past, and I'll link both of those videos down in the description. The one that will work with this is the AM8 I recently reviewed, and again, I uh, suggest watching that video because it has the USB and XLR inputs. Um, so if you needed to, you know, to finally step up your audio game or something like that, or maybe you want to step into the XLR world or wherever, so you want to buy the microphone first and then upgrade to XLR input, and then you'll have this mixer ready to go. I do want to specify that my information that I'm going to give in this video is coming from the perspective of using this for streaming and content creation and stuff like that uh, for about two weeks now. So I'm, I'm having a little bit of uh, knowledge going into this using this item. Most reviews that I've seen on YouTube, and I'll link some down in the description who cover like how to use it, all the ports, everything like that. From what I've seen, nobody really talked about their use like them using it. It's like they got the product, they read the instruction manual, wherever, which is very detailed. It may look like a lot at first, but it's very detailed and um, it's easy to read and follow and everything like that and get the gist of how to use everything. And that's pretty much what they covered. They never seen a video actually covering them using it um, in a real case scenario, like they're streaming all the time and, you know, using it for into their workflow uh, so i want to kind of give my thoughts and opinions from that perspective i didn't want to beat a dead horse but i usually make videos like that so if you're interested in that type of product review stay tuned to the channel where you can hit that subscribe button um, but with that being said let's jump into this stuff i want to talk about that this product right here again i purchased with my own money it's about 50 dollars on amazon and if you want that TLDR or wherever, if you should get this product or anything like that, maybe you're just in Discord or maybe you're gaming or something like that, or you're getting into streaming or content creation and you don't have nothing or whatever, this would be a great stepping stone uh, product for you. If you already have an audio interface like me, I have a Wave XLR and I use it in conjunction with the Stream Deck and another product I'll mention uh, here shortly called the PC Panel Pro um, in order to change and uh, do audio wherever for multiple programs and everything like that that while I'm streaming or just editing, chilling, whatever, um, I have the ability to do so. This product, again, is going to be a stepping stone. It is not, in my personal opinion, going to possibly replace my Wave XLR, my Stream Deck, or PC Panel Pro, um, just because of some limitations, and I think it's due to the fact they were trying to keep it budget-friendly of being around $50. Now, fine, fine, if you do end up releasing a product in the future that's similar to this, like a Pro version that has more capabilities, I would say probably around $100 would be the sweet spot for it, and I personally would purchase it and integrate it into my workflow and probably somewhat get rid of some stuff, just depends or wherever on how it's implemented and everything with what I want to see in that version. So again, this is not me bashing the product or anything like that. There's very few things that I don't like about the product, but again, you have to keep in mind, this is around the $50 price point and what you get. So if you, again, if you're starting off, you don't have anything or whatever, maybe upgrading to an XLR interface or something, and I would just say, go ahead and get this. It's good for Discord. It's gonna be good for gaming and stuff like that. Content creation, like editing a video, live streaming and stuff. But if you're coming from something else like a Go XLR because that just ended and it doesn't seem like there's going to be updates or anything done for that product and you wanted to go ahead and switch, um, there's other things that you could use in junction with this. Maybe get a streamed up deck plus, get this and the PC Panel Pro and you're good to go. All of them have smaller uh footprints or wherever so you don't have to worry about having a big thing on your desk um, and they all can look uh, aesthetically pleasing in my personal opinion so again that's just to keep that in mind if you are switching from something that's more extravagant you're going to feel the pains of having to regress to something that's much uh, simpler uh, in use case scenarios so again that's just something that I've experienced using this um, coming again from a Wave XLR. I'm glad that there's faders and stuff on it. I'm glad that there's buttons and all those capabilities that you can do on it versus the Wave XLR just kind of sits there and it's more software based stuff. But with even with that software, you have uh, submixes, which is the thing that you're going to need for 
uh, live streaming, not necessarily for content creation, video editing, discord, all that stuff or wherever, if you're just, you know, not live streaming, but if you are live streaming and you haven't tried sub mixes and having anything, whether it be from road, uh, Elgato, anything like that, if you've never touched sub mixes, once you touch them, you're not going to be wanting to go back. And that's what I experienced while using this thing. I have sub mixes and go, trying to go back and deal with these dials and faders and, and buttons and stuff like that. I've noticed that. I don't necessarily touch anything on this other than maybe adjusting the mic volume slider and that's it. If you're coming from something else, you probably don't want this. If you are starting out wherever, I think this is a great, again, stepping stone to get you to purchase, you know, more expensive items down the road, maybe when you save up or, you know, your career starts taking off or something like that and you can actually afford something that's more expensive. With that being said though, it's not a knock to this thing. I still think that you should go out and buy it again. If you're looking for an XLR interface, maybe right now you just use a USB microphone or something like that. It would be great. And I'll talk about a workaround or alternative wherever that you can use in conjunction with this, which is the PC Panel Pro. Now, this is a device that I use personally every day, even when I'm not live streaming, just doing content creation or whatever. It works with OBS, so you can have your OBS sound settings and wherever you can have your uh, Discord, your browser source, all that stuff works with the Wavelink software. You can't control the individual sub mixes, but the overall output volume of stuff. So if you want Discord on one slider, music, Spotify on another, uh, your internet on another, and then a OBS a sound output on another, and then on these uh, individual knobs, if you want something that you can click and press down or wherever and to mute and then rotate to adjust the volume, you can do all of that. So I would suggest getting this and this and just map whatever you need to precisely uh, control as far as volume output goes to this thing. This thing is the PC Panel Pro. Again, it will be linked in the description. It's $100. You can't find it anywhere but their website. But I, I tell, I'll tell you, it's well worth it. They do have a mini one that only has four knobs. But again, and that's like $50, $60 or something like that. But again, I would say just splurge on this. But with this, again, you can do that and just have those two items or whatever and you'd be good to go just get you another uh get you a microphone or something you'd be good the reason why i say to get the pc panel pro to do stuff especially if you're live streaming or anything like that discord and stuff is because these four sliders are just mapped and that's it what you get is what you get on here so you only get a line in line out headphone and microphone volume controls that's it you can't map it to anything so turning down the your headset is going to turn down discord spotify your game everything or wherever pretty much all at once and if you're streaming and you know there's times where you need to turn down the music or turn down somebody in discord or something like that that's why i say get the pc panel pro because you can just do those individually instead of alt tabbing out of your stuff or you know stopping everything and going to individual programs and do all that stuff you have it at a t at like a touch of the finger or whatever with the pc panel pro which again if you never experienced anything like that you probably run into that issue before and you want to experience it or you know it's something that you're not even aware of that you can do or that's going to be a problem if you're going to go into streaming and that's where again some products that come out you not fine fine only but some products come out and they say they're for streamers because that's this popular thing to do and then when you actually get a streamer who's been streaming for years like i have you can check out a link in the description to kick or wherever to where i stream um but you you start to see like hey these things are just taking advantage of people not necessarily the fine fine uh things i've seen other audio mixers that are not even of this quality that cost more wherever and they're like hey we're for streamers and then you look at the product or you look at reviews comments and stuff like that and it's not even for streamer it's just, it would barely work for people who are just doing pc games so again this is a step up it's in the right direction. Like I said before, I would love to see a pro version. That's what a streamer is going to want to be able to control individual volumes from apps. Now, moving on to the, the, the other specifications of this device, it has different voices. So you can do a robot, female, male, deep voice, baby, stuff like that. So if you select a voice and you like a voice, you can turn it off and turn it back on. It will always play that voice or whatever until you switch it. Same with the auto-tune fe feature. We'll get to that in a second but they have four buttons to where you can record something and then every time you hit the button it replays it again 
when it comes to streaming and stuff like that, I like to use sound bites, maybe something from that's meme worthy or something that's popular right now. You can't upload your own custom third party meme sounds or wherever. It's your voice that's recorded to these four different buttons. That might work for some people wherever. But again, if you experienced it and you have a stream deck more times than often, you probably do have some version of a stream deck uh, when you're a streamer you'll know the difference in what I'm talking about when something funny happens, you hit the button. Not having that capability on this or wherever, when you have other audio mixes that allow you to have software to put that stuff in. Again, I would love to see it for a pro version, but here, sadly, you don't have that. The audio uh, auto-tune portion of this device, I noticed with me personally, no matter what uh, octave or anything to have on this, uh, I can barely hear or tell the auto tune ability. I would love a fader to increase the intensity of the auto tune so I can hear it because my voice typically is a deeper, muddier uh, tone voice. And I notice I have to speak a little bit higher in octaves and be a little bit higher pitched in order to really hear the auto tune. Some people say that's what you're supposed to do, but and me personally, I know there's a program out there that's called Voice Mod. A lot of people use it for funny voices, sound by clip, soundboard, all that stuff or whatever, what you can do. There's a free version and a paid version. I have the paid version. They have a T-Pain light voice that you can adjust the intensity of it and everything if you want it subtle or anything. And I never had a problem with it in my voice. But with this, for some reason, you just, I, I personally can't hear it. I've seen other people review this, the auto tune or wherever, and it sounds perfectly fine with their voice for, but again, it's just my personal experience. Um, other than that, it does supply 48 volts of phantom power. It has a, a, a little switch up here for dynamic or condenser microphones, which is great. It's all the inputs at the top or wherever. The RGB looks fantastic, especially on the white version. And that's just my personal opinion, my aesthetic taste. I'm glad that Fine Fine keeps up with this stuff because a lot of the products are not just a black, just generic looking uh, color scheme. They have a lot of color options when it comes to multiple microphones and just multiple stuff, headsets, everything like that. So keep coming out with the white aesthetic stuff. Fine Fine, I love it. My gripes with this thing is that I wish they was able to map the faders and not just have them stuck to the individual faders or wherever. I understand why they did this and keeping it at this price point, especially when there's no software or anything to really customize this or wherever. They try to make it generic as, as best they could so it could uh, accommodate a lot more people into the fold of, okay, I'm starting out. Let me get something right now and then in the future upgrade. So I'm hoping again in the future they will release something and this does not discourage them from releasing a pro version that again that could be around a hundred dollars ninety nine dollars whatever eighty dollars or something like that that has all the stuff that like i said that should be impl implemented into this because i think that right there will sell like hotcakes and i think that would probably be end up being one of their best uh products out there again i don't know anything about software i'm not a software engineer so i can't sit there and say that the software would be easy to come up with or anything like that but like i said the pc pounder pro the software is very I would say just bare bones or whatever, but it works, never had a problem with it. But even more expensive items like the Wave XLR, the they'll got a Wavelink software, period. Every time it updates, I, I've always had problems with it crashing, freezing, blue screening my PC. I've had issues with the Stream Deck software, always every time it updates and stuff like that, crashing or freezing or wherever, having to restart the app and, and do a whole bunch of stuff just to get it to work every time I restart my PC. And again, with the PC Pounder Pro, no issues with that software. And like I said, it's very bare bones and you have so many options with it. So if you plan on picking up this, the Fine Fine SC3, I suggest picking up the PC Pounder Pro. Save up next month or something like that. Get it. It's going to work wonders with you for you in tandem with this, um, because I think those two plus one of their microphones, I suggest the 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 fine fine am8 just because it's a dynamic microphone which means it's not going to pick up so much background noise or wherever already and it's going to work if your room has a fan in it or wherever maybe you have a lot of people bad sound treatment or something like that it's going to work perfectly with this in conjunction with pc pounder pro like i said uh, the only thing that i would say that's probably a big disclaimer that a lot of people 
I haven't seen really talk about it in their videos and stuff like that. And it's the main drawback for me is the fact of there's no way to put filters on this at all for your microphone. So if you want to remove background noise, EQ it or something like that, there's no way to put anything to EQ on this. What I've done for that is take all the filters and stuff from the Wavelink software for the Wave XLR and plug my mic into this and then drag this sound and stuff like that as a microphone into the Wavelink software and then applied all those previously stated EQs to this itself. So that works. If you are if you don't have anything like that, I would suggest looking up voice meter or something or NVIDIA broadcast if you have an NVIDIA GPU to remove background noise to EQ your voice and stuff like that. Because again, there's nothing on this that's going to do that. And some microphones, not all microphones, but some microphones need to be EQ'd, especially if you're going to be in Discord, if you're going to be uh, gaming or anything like that, live streaming, especially you can do that in OBS, but to have it already applied. So if you're OBS filters don't work in Discord and they don't work in video games and they don't work in, in anything, maybe your team meetings or something, I don't know. But if you want to get the most out of this device, you're going to have to have some kind of third party app or software or something like that in order to, you know, actually sound treat your, your microphone to make it sound the best. That is the main downside of this. Again, it's $50. You can't expect too much. The reason why I'm bringing up all those things is because, again, I'm hoping that Fine Fine will release like a pro version or like a bigger version that has all those capabilities, like I said. But again, if you're starting out and you need something to step stone off of or piggyback off of or something like that, this is going to be great for you. I suggest go out and getting it. I, I don't know how else to convince you to, you know, go ahead and get it again i purchased with my own money i don't receive any money or anything really for talking good about fine fine products i wish that a lot of these fine fine products were around when i first started out uh streaming and stuff like that and uh maybe i wouldn't have spent so much money for my setup so with that being said hopefully you guys enjoyed the video y'all take care have a squid day god bless you yours and um if you're interested in talking to me on your social media links in the description so i'll see you guys over there if you're interested in my live streams maybe you want to talk to me about this or something else as far as gear related goes you can find me on kick there will be a link in the description to that as well and i'll catch you guys in the next one god bless you and yours deuces everybody much love